<laughs> Videos. It's now safe to keep playing. Okay. Yeah, so I'll keep going for a little while. Till the next save point, I guess. Boss should, boss should clean the chicken buckets. <clears throat> Sorry. Wow. Boss should clean the chicken buckets, she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Alright. So we're keeping... We get rid of... Uh, we get rid of those. Because I can't go backwards, like... I don't think I've had a star pierces the dark on yet. Um, I don't think I've done dawn approaches yet. We just or we have the tropic karma tree and dream. Out of orbit. Sounds like a redone or er, an alternate reality. Tense. That sounds fun. Alright. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? It turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of avoiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I feel com before I feel compelled to put it on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. You have blue hair and blue skin. You're one of those robot people. Good evening, um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? <laughs> Again with the Valhalla jokes. Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta, kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know, I don't drink that much to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter but not too much. Maybe bitter and girly? Alright, so let's go flavor. Bitter. Sunshine Cloud, Gut Punch, Pile Driver, Suplex, and Grizzly Temple. I'm gonna end up serving another Sunshine Cloud, aren't I? Of course I am. And because she doesn't drink much, we probably shouldn't load it up with the alcohol. Ta-da! Try this. Yep, this'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. Oh boy. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I am the shadow and the smoke in your eyes. I am the ghost that hides in the night. I am the northern light that will show you your dreams. Kira Miki. I am, oh well, I am Kira Miki. Oh, there we go, we read about you. So, so should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira... Mi Miki? No, no, no. Put more spirit into it. Kira... Miki. Almost there. Kira... Miki. Kira... Miki. <laughs> Kira... 
<laughs> okay, this this is a weird visual right here. It looks like he's like hiding behind her, staring at us. Kira, everyone, me. <laughs> what is happening right now? That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira. <laughs> okay. Um, how long is this gonna happen? And don't you ever forget it. Gillian, Jill, Jill, Gillian, Dana, and Jamie. What am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. You're like a cult leader. It's nice to know I still have it. <laughs> Especially since I have a concert in a bit. You mean that I thought you had a concert previously? Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making the last preparation for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while I go while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. It's she it sounds like she was the one that Dawson was talking about. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and I decided to check this place out. Just that isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but he's not the first time but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do a concert anyway. I, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for... <laughs> we planned for over 100,000 people and it sold out fast. So we managed to secure, secure ourselves another show in a couple weeks. Oh, that's nice. Definitely the person that Dawson was talking about. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. Over a hundred thousand is not many? The one exactly is. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. And based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You should don't get it. Let's start. No, 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 no. Not necessary. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? As in alcohol free? No, I meant soft isn't soft. Soft? Let's just see what I can get you. Um. Uh, let's see here. Classy? Let's go with classy. Uh. Er, well. I should probably get. Let's see if what we can come up with in classy. Mercury last. I need to quit doing that. Fringe Weaver. Alright, so if it does in fact mean alcohol free, we should not give her the one that is nine combo trines. Cobalt Velvet. Five is also not very... That's the brand T. Um, okay. My type? Bottled drinks, maybe? I don't, I don't know what to do. Fluffy Dream? Let's go with Fluffy Dream. Because, first of all, that sounds soft, and it has optional alcohol. <clears throat> A couple of these will make your fe tongue feel velvety. More of them, and you'll be sleeping soundly. All aged and mixed. All right. Try this. Yeah, this'll do it. Thanks. 
Hey, have you ever considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? Eh? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire. That kind of <laughs> lighting drinks on fire. <laughs> when I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped in his hand. Slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. <laughs> Alright, it can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? <laughs> yeah, do as you please. Okay then, who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder what if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kira Miki. Why? Why exactly with the? Uh, I guess that she does have this whole star theatric going, or th the whole star theatrics going on. So I guess it makes sense that those are with her name. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, oh, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. That's a little weird. I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. <laughs> the others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing these stalkers must be bothersome, huh? But for some weird reason, I feel like she almost appreciates it. Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. Da -da -da -da. I remember one protected me from being mugged. That's nice. There's another that breaks it into my house once a week and to make me breakfast. And she fails to see the problem? That is really weird, lady. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way that they'd find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize it, you know? I take my I take pride in my old liquor collection, I guess it's the same. No wait, it isn't. <laughs> Yeah, you get me. <laughs> uh. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have been settled. Is it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. That is interesting. And this one I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. Interesting. If everything goes as planned, the weather forecast, and the weather forecast is accurate. The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. Oh, that should be nice. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? <laughs> Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was coffee or the girl surf that served it. <laughs> I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Alright. I'm gonna make something besides a sunshine cloud. Let's go with the pile driver here. Doesn't burn, burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat when drinking it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, and no special things. Bitter, manly, and burning. I almost let it blend for some reason. Try this. 
Yeah, this works. So how is it? You could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice. Thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm?